Hey guys and what's going on? My name is Bram and welcome to this Flutter SDK tutorial. Now the topic for today will be navigation. So let's take a look at the example app. We will be building this app uh, which has an icon button and some text and every time I press this button we navigate to another page and we can go back to the home page by pressing this back button for iOS and Android but of course Android users can also use the integrated back button. Cool! So let's start off by creating a new project. Now let's open that up in our code editor. Go to your library folder and open main.dart. Now first of all, we're going to delete everything and import a package, which is going to be the Flutter material package. And we will be typing out our main method. Now, obviously, our app over here is material is material design. So let's make a new material app, and we need something to put in the home property. So let's create a new class and call it something like homepage, and it's going to be extending a stateless widget. Cool, so let's make the layout real quick. So let's override the build method. Build context. Um, let's return a new scaffold. And that scaffold is going to have a child, which is going to Oops, that scaffold is going to have an app bar. Let's give it a title and let's say new text. Let's call this home and let's make the color, the background color, orange, deep orange. Cool. Now let's create a body and let's make it a container. That container is going to have a child, which is going to be a center. That center is going to have a child, which is going to be a new column. And that column will, let's first of all, no, so that column is going to have some children um, of type widgets. And we have an icon button and some text. So let's make that icon button icon button is going to have an icon which is going to be a favorite icon favorite and which is going to be um, a red accent color whoops okay um, it will be a little bit larger than the predefined size, so let's make it something like 70. And we have not made a, um, a unpressed function yet, so let's just pass null. Cool, let's now make text. Um, new text. And that new text is going to say something like home. Awesome, let's now give the property um, home in our material app, our new widget, our new home page. And let's start our app on the emulator. Cool, so our application is now running and the button and the text are not centered um, on the main axis. So let's do that real quick. Main axis alignment, main axis alignment dot center. Let's rerun our app. And that should fix that. Cool. Now, of course, we want to have two pages. So let's just copy page, um, copy paste, I'm sorry, um, our home page and call it second page. Let's change the title for the app bar to second page. And t -t 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 -t, let's change the icon to a home icon. Let's make it blue. And let's also give this text widget a string of second page. Cool, let's refresh. 
And of course, the second page isn't visible because, you know, we are not able to go there yet, but um, let's do that right now. So in our material app, there is actually another property called routes. And routes takes a map with a string and with a widget builder. Cool. So um, in the routes map, we can basically define all of our routes. So the string is basically going to be the name of the page of the route. So let's call this second page. And now we have to instruct um, the routes property on how to the navigator on how to actually show the the page and actually how to build the page. So let's say um, build oops build context context and it's going to make a new second page. Oops. Awesome. So what we were doing over here, like one more time, we are creating a route with the name second page. And every time we go to that page, we want to create a second page. Now we can name this string and whatever we like. We could also name this like cool and that would work, but it just makes sense to name it um, like you named your, um, your page. Awesome. Now we can also be adding more pages, um, like third page. But of course, we only have two pages right now, so that wouldn't make any sense. Also, um, if you're wondering why we have not added our homepage, our homepage is actually automatically defined as a um, route, something like this. Um, build context, context. And it's going to be a new homepage. So we do not have to type out this because um, for the homepage, because that's automatically defined. But just know that you could be doing this. Awesome. So let's now start off by um, by making the button work. So let's create a new function in onpressed. And boop, 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 let's say navigator dot off context dot push named. And in push name, push name takes a string, and that string could be a route. So let's say second page, because we want to go to the second page. Cool, don't forget the semicolon. And that should be working. So let's refresh our app. Let's press on this button. And we are now seeing our second page. Awesome, you can also go back. We can also use the Android back button. Cool, so um, that's basically navigation. Um, it's not that hard. Um, but of course, this is the basics. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like, um, comment down in the comments below if you have any criticism, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.